I don't know if you have, have attended the Unity event, which we all kind of cobbled together 25 years ago this week. Um, but if you, I mean, representing all the hardworking people that were in the team that night, uh, apart from my wife Sally, of course, who was uh, pretty key, and all the co-check people. Maeve was like the event manager together with Alex and Nadia Narain, Andrew Craig on a lot of the production. Um, Nevin. Joe Brooks Nevin. Yeah, we didn't have anyone on Portaloos because there was not enough toilets. Because <laughs> when it's an indoor venue, you don't think we're going to need Portaloos. Yeah, and it was a new venue at the time, remember? I mean, it was a really new venue. I think it was like... Yeah. Only the second gig that was there. I mean, yeah. we might have done one or two before Unity to test it out, but they were pretty new and green. I, I think we did uh, Primal Scream there. Remember when the yeah. f we did it in that circular room and the floor was going up and down like that uh, Israeli wedding party? And I think we did yeah. the Snowboy. Oh, Snowboy and the Latin yeah. section. Yeah. Is that the one? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. So if you're wondering why somebody who looks 25 was organizing a rave in Hong Kong 25 years ago. You can now use this. <laughs> yeah, Thank you can you ask Maeve yourself. You. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Well, you're very, Maeve, very kind. Uh, Maeve, Maeve, Maeve <laughs> was, um, I mean, I, th I think you used to give me uh, like a bag with about quarter of a million in it when we used to do those Bar City raves. Yeah, and I, yeah. And I would actually leave. I would go to the uh, that 24-hour McDonald's and uh, get a Happy Meal and <laughs> eat that in the car with my quarter of a million on the front seat going home. Uh, yeah, I, w I remember there was a couple of nights where even I, I would just have to leave with that cash box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd I take it like, home and... It's like, you know, because you got another quarter of a million after I'd split or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah 7 a.m., you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. trundling back to mid-levels. Yeah, 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 yeah. The cash box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Must, must have been either Christian or... Uh, uh, what's his What's his name? The other bloke from Neptune, who's a big superstar. What's his name? Burridge. Yeah, yeah. Ah. But, uh, Mr. Mr. Burridge must have been on the decks. Hello. Hello. How Hi. you doing? Hi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi. Well, you're you you look as though you're ready to do some bachata dancing, to uh, our, but our, we don't play bachata, unfortunately. <laughs> so, so come, Christian, come over here, mate. It's not just me talking to Maeve. It's me talking to you because. You're the DJ connection. Oh, the cameras are there, okay. Yeah, yeah. That, he's using that. So, I mean, it's so wonderful to have you, mate. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, yeah. You, I, I think we all have kept it together for the last 25 years. Absolutely. One way Just or about, another. Yeah, you know we're still saying? hanging in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're close to you, about Yeah, because the mics, the mics are a bit dodgy around here. I've been telling him, <laughs> I've been telling him, you know, because I haven't been able to do the show, and I'd like to apologize to my subscribers or whatever because I refuse to do this in random venues. I can only do it in a studio. We tried it in random venues. Uh, the last one was a a shocking disaster. No, this, is, uh, this is ideal. This is the way to Rob's go. Rob's place is I, mean, I, can't, I can't relax at any other circuit. DZ TV, yeah, Respect. my boy Rob. Respect you know, to Rob. If I had a dollar for every country that Rob's been since the last time we did a show here, I'd be a rich man. Indeed. He, he, this he fellow gets well so he said, well, I, I can't talk now. I'm in Paris. All right. All right whatever. You know, not my problem, mate. <laughs> As I, I usually have, uh, like, I can't talk now. I'm like, I'm on the MTR to Chern Quano. That's about as all, all you get from me. But greetings to everybody around the world, especially any of you guys who either worked on the Unity event, Coach Check. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, w how many people w must we have had working that night? A lot, a lot. I was, I was actually trying to think. I was trying to think of because for every act, the live acts, we had an artist liaison for each one, mm -hmm. right? We had all the door staff, but we had Sally's team at the door. We had Joyce. We yeah. had Keats. Yeah. We had yeah. uh, Edwin, Edwin, the guy that always did the tickets. You know, he was so uh. good. With, with the money, he was yeah, good with the money. He people was come <laughs> up to me on the NTR say, remember I used to work for you 25 years ago and I was one of your top team. I was like, all right. Yeah, <laughs> and then <laughs> Edward and all his team. Yeah. Yeah. I had I had Judy Dunn working. She was taking care of Grace Jones. Was she? Yeah, she was my yeah. artist liaison for Grace Jones. She, she worked very, very hard, those three. Yeah, days. I remember. I mean, 
There was a champagne bucket full of wee in Grace Jones's dressing room at the end, which I thought was a bit un unseemly. Yeah. <laughs> but it, what can you do? There was not enough. Yeah. How can you ask Grace Jones to talk uh, to to queue up behind the ladies? At, you know, because we no, just it was we just crazy. we blew it on toilets. But the uh, the venue blew it on cashiers. Remember? Well, they blew it on a lot because yeah. they kept saying, "Oh, it's just a few thousand people. It's just a few thousand." And I, was, I kept saying, "No, look." Yeah. You think it's a few thousand people, more will come, yeah, yeah. more are coming. Yeah. I said, stock more, just have more. Yeah, and yeah. I, I kept trying, but they were like, no, 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 look at our, you know, this yeah. is this is the paperwork, this is what we've got yeah, worked yeah, out. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah. Throw that away. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, no. You know. I mean, but it, but it was odd because I had told them how many people were I coming. Know. Because we, we probably sold a couple of thousand tickets on the door. Yeah. But there was still maybe eight to 10,000, you know, already... You know, we knew because we'd got the money. But, you know, they're coming. You know, yeah. if people have given you the money, they're probably going to turn up. <laughs> and you thought it was, gonna, I mean, and that big bar that was built, yeah, you know, yeah. that giant bar between the two, because you had the two stages, I wish I right? Could, I, could, I, wish yeah. I, could. I mean, so now, if I don't know, have you been to no, been, Heights and been, I, I, I have, not lately, but in, in the last five years. Yeah. Years. So it's like a movie theater there. Yeah, I. I okay, no, I, yeah. I haven't seen it. So that whole floor, which was all Unity, you yeah. walk up there now, there's a movie theater. Yeah, theater, yeah, and yeah. then there's a shopping mall. They they oh, they, they, yeah. they bollocks up the space. I mean, the it was the most incredible because we didn't have any crowding issues once you got to the event. We had yeah. twelve thousand people in there, but there was like big holes of oh, really? like, you know, people break right. dancing, and yeah. it wasn't like a crush. No, it, it was fine. So it could have fit, fitted more. I, I wouldn't have wanted to try that. No, no. To it, toilets were out, and the queue getting in was quite fraught. Because and it was they, bad they, weather too, right? It was, it was, it was like this. Raining. It was, it was yeah, raining. It was, like it was typical June the 30th weather in Hong Kong, apparently. Uh, we had this uh, two crazy months leading up to that time where, yeah. I mean, Peter Upton did something in Bar City the next day. I well, don't even remember that. Well, well, no, it was, I was so it was focused. I was so well, narrow focused on yeah, I think, just our I think event. He, I don't know whether he did it the next day or the same night, but it was uh, he did something called One Nation, which was a, a, the, at our classic uh, Bar City venue, which we had always used for most of the rave shit we did. Yeah. But uh, right. he did one because him and me weren't really on speaking terms. Right. Although I I ran into him in Primrose Hill a few years ago, and we uh, yeah. we had a, we had wow. a cup of tea. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's quite a respectable fellow these days, oh. and uh, you know. Even Sharat is my Facebook friend. <laughs> yeah, I've been wow. in touch. Wow. <laughs> Amazing days, yeah. Yeah. And Joe Brooks is, has done very well somewhere, but she seems to change her name on social media. But we shouldn't rabbit too much. We should have a, a bit of a rabbit session later on. Yeah, yeah. Um, probably, you know, with music in the background, because we've got a lot of music fans here tonight from around the world. Hi, you guys. <laughs> Are you ready for some Christian? I mean, you're not, tell us a little bit about what's on the, in, your, in your record bag. Your record uh, bag. A bit of a smorgasbord of, uh, you know, funky, eclectic, some, you know, more harder, softer, Jazzier, I mean, I don't like to categorize. I, I, yeah, I like yeah, to, I like to go uh, go on a, on a little journey. So yeah, we'll yeah, start yeah, off yeah. with you know a bit of trip hop and then go into some deep house. The I'm not going to. Yeah. No, the Christian I wouldn't say that. Um, but yeah, I like to keep it, mix it up. Well, it's very rare that our audience gets a legend of your stature on the on our on our show. You're too kind. Uh, and uh, hopefully, you're not playing too many like pop records from Sony Music because they got copyright strike. Not like much pop going insanity. on. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. So yeah, uh, let's do this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to keep chatting to Maeve, but uh, welcome to Disco Buffet's very special Unity Hong Kong 25 anniversary. I mean, you wouldn't believe that Maeve was working 25 years ago when she looks like she's 25. I mean, that's just, that's what's weirding me out, frankly. Weirded me but out. <laughs> look. It was so fantastic that, that to, to be able to do that. And, and the claim to fame is we did Hong Kong's last Saturday night under the British regime. When they pulled the flag down, there was no more Saturday nights under that flag. We did the last Saturday night. Quite proud of that, fellas. Why not? Absolutely. Come on. So, uh, is somebody going to press the button for Christian? 
or uh, I I Christian, should Chris, Christian should press his button. So you know, he's going to press his button. We're going to have amazing music for the next two or three hours. I'll be playing a bit later, uh, but I'll be hanging out with Maeve. Um, we're going to put the screen on here, which we normally have on, so we can cool. see what's going on with the show. Uh, fabulous to have you back uh, around the world, all you peoples, because uh, you know I, I really don't like doing this show from random venues with random technical setups. I, I'm just comfortable here. So when he's here, I'm here. I think that's the current regime, because I'm also quite busy. Uh, Doing a project, yeah, keep it, yeah, yeah, keep it real, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, keeping it real. So, without further ado, come on, uh, let's start this uh, amazing set. Uh, enjoy the green screen. We're going to play some funky stuff uh, on there, and we'll chat to Maeve uh, a bit later. And we'll see you guys in the chat if you need anything or if you want to say anything to us. Yeah, we're in the chat. <laughs>
kick it. Yes, can. can I kick it? Yes, can. can. I kick it? Yes, can. Well, I'm gone. Oh, yeah. Holly came from Miami, FLA. Hitchhiked away across USA. Plucked her eyebrows on the way. Shaved her legs and then he was a she. She says, hey, babe. Take a walk on the wild side. Said, hey, honey. Take a walk on the wild side. Can I kick it? 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 Well, I'm gone. Candy cane from out on the island. In the bathroom, she was everybody's darling. But she never lost her head. Even when she was given head, she says, hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. I said, hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. And the colored girls go do 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 to the boy from the big bad city and this is jam to the boy from the big bad city and this is jam hot.
to your knees.
Talking about DJ Christian. Yeah. Come on. 
The man is in the zone. Live sound check. Thanks for sticking with us online. Thank you, Christian. That was an, I mean, come on, man. We have to close at 11 Hong Kong time. That's the only reason. Otherwise, we'd be here all night with this man. Thank you so much, brother. Don't leave it another 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> oh. you, you, you've done a good job. I, 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 how long has this song got left? Yeah, that's fine. I just need to... Uh, you need to come back and uh, talk to us. Yeah, my stick's there, so what should I do? Sorry, Mac. There you go. But you're using this one. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this, bro. No issues. Yeah, they're incredible. Uh, thanks very much to uh, Rob DZTV, who's made this possible tonight. He's got to fly uh, on the Queen of the Skies, his jumbo jet, in the morning, so we have to actually finish at, at 11 o'clock. But thank you so much, brother. They're like, why don't you get yourself a drink? And uh, I, I'm going to talk to Maeve for a minute. Hey, Maeve, come over here. Come on. This is kind of radio as well as YouTube. So, you know, we do have a chat with our VIP guests. But we try and keep the music going because some people get very depressed if you turn the music off. I'm, I'm one of those people. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, uh, just in case you guys don't know who Maeve is, Maeve, uh, Maeve Flood Murphy, as she was then, the most amazing um, assistant uh, that we had in our office when I was doing a lot of shows back in the days, blah, blah, blah. So, the thing is, Mae can remember a lot more stories than I can. So, like the Unity Party, right, which we're talking about tonight. Oh, hang on a minute. I like this bit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, Mae, let's go. We got this. Listen to this for a minute. Yeah. DJ Christian, that's not me yet, that's still Christian, the man is a genius. Uh-huh. I'm not even going to try to follow that, so I'm just going to like go the full El Toro after this. so great to work together with you all those years ago but like i remember you were telling me tonight about like the the most compelling period was actually the two months before we actually did the unity event itself because the event itself becomes a blur once you plan for it yeah it's like you know so i remember you coming into the office you'd been away or somewhere and you had the poster and you walked into the office and you were like this poster is amazing guys and I think we should do something for the handover. And I was like, okay. And, you know, and from there, it would... I seem to remember that happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then every day you would come in like, okay, so 
let's just do some, you know, have a DJ and we'll do some party. I was like, okay, so. Yes. And then the next day, we're like, well, how about we have stages and concerts? And it just grew and grew. And every day it became this sort of odyssey of what new idea was boss man going to come up with today? And I would sit there and I'd look at you in your office and you'd look at me and you'd like, how about this? This is like honey in my <laughs> ear. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like... It was just, so. It was just two months. Of just yeah, because it was organic. We didn't start out saying like, "Let's have twelve thousand people at a gig" or something. It kind of like I got this a little bit crazy idea, man. But then it, it grew. even booking the venue. So you know, it was a high tech, now key tech, right? And it was like, oh no, it's going to be a small thing. Let's book the little banquet. First, it started with the banquet room. Yeah, the, the circular one with the dodgy floor. No, no thanks. 2,000 people. Yeah, it'll just be a DJ night, 2,000 people, nothing. Then it was like, no, we're going to get, you know, Gene or whatever. I don't, maybe you put, I can't remember who exactly you put first, but you're like, you know, we're going to have a stage. Have a Definitely big names if I had anything to do with it. Yeah. And then it moved downstairs, and then it became bigger, and it was like one stage, and then it became two stages, and then it became this giant bar. And, and I don't know, and I think you and Joe were like, you know, you were ripping off each other and then it would be like... Yeah, Joe, Joe, I, would, I wish I could find Joe tonight. I would sit there sort of like the the, the, the the sane person in the room, the one that knows that stuff has to happen and shit's got to get worked out and be like, oh my God, oh my God. No, you're the one sane person I ever hired. Thank you very much. You can come again in my next life, <laughs> which I don't say to everyone. <laughs> That's me, event manager at Unity, this woman, if you have the honor and the privilege to meet this person. Disco Buffet, Unity, 25th anniversary. DJ El Toro in the mix. And we are closing at 11 o'clock. Don't expect top of the line DJ from El Toro tonight, but he's going to try his best because you guys are our loyal fans. And we've been so happy to have you guys from all around the world Sydney, London, I know Bombay, is it Mumbai? Mumbai, DJ uh, MCG, of course. Disco Buffet will be back when Rob tells me the studio is available. But when it comes back, it'll be as good as this. But uh, very great honor to still be standing after 25 years since the Unity Party. That was a great night. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a huge blast for us to put together. DJ El Toro in the mix.
Thank you, babe. Sorry that mix was a bit of a dog's back leg, you know. You know, it's getting late here in Causeway Bay. But uh, yeah, wherever you are around the world, especially if you can remember the Unity Party, that actually happened. That actually happened. Just about, just about. Yeah. Well, we remember the lead up to it, but the night itself was a blur for me. I remember doing jello shots with Robert Plant backstage. Yeah, a lot of people didn't believe that he was there. Oh, but that was the most amazing thing. I made a point to stop and see Richard Cooper and Robert Plant. Who's Richard Cooper? Do you remember Richard Cooper? No. C Music. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, that Richard Cooper. Oh, okay, in that case, he's my boy. Thanks, guys. Christian, come on, say a few words to the fans, mate. Nice of you guys to tune in. It's been good to play on some decks. You know, and get a bit of exposure and have a bit of fun. Um, thank you. Thank you, brother. I mean, because, like, let not many men standing 25 years on. Even Joel Lai's gone home for dinner with his mother. Yeah. Yeah, well, he's a good boy, yeah. Oops, quite quiet. <laughs> At the Unity Party, the, the the weirdest moment was when that one really high dude climbed into the rigging, like at about nine o'clock in the morning when when, when Christian was playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, it was. You just didn't know it was that late. Yeah, it got, it got, I mean, I'm glad we cl closed all, uh, we could have gone on, I think they, yeah, it was, uh, I mean, no. Really messy, I mean, the crowd, the crowd that was left at 10 o'clock in the morning was the messy. You know, the time to, like, say, see you later, fellas. It, but there was, uh, but what the punters here don't understand is there was literally a guy who climbed up in the rigging, and there was a very high ceiling in that place. No, it was, he climbed up the side rigging and there was rigging all across the top as well for all the lighting. And he was literally right in the middle of the dance floor. And it was a huge area and he was hanging and swinging. And he was off his nuts. And we were all freaking out. The venue's freaking out because they've endured this 12 hour festive debauchery and they want to go home and they want people to survive. And we want them to survive and we don't want to be liable. And it was just awful. I'm so glad that that wasn't me up in the rafters. It, it could so easily have been. <laughs> Gonna play the next song. Can you guys host the show?
Yeah, it's a bit late at night. But yeah. I actually really enjoyed playing at uh, Salon 10 the other night. Uh, these are some of the tracks that I... Uh, thanks to Karate Bucci for this one. He's got like weird 10 minute long Afro disco tracks. Which are great when you need to hit the bathroom. Thank you. 
DJ Christian. Got to close at 11, guys, but you know we would love to play longer, but yeah. It's been absolutely marvelous. This guy's going to play us out deservedly. DJ Christian, the legend of the Neptune, the legend of many nights in Hong Kong, has graced our decks tonight. We are very honored indeed, brother. Thank you so much. And uh, welcome any, welcome, welcome any time, mate. Absolutely my pleasure, mate. We've let you play it out. Hong Kong tomorrow for a very good reason. It's the 25th anniversary of the Unity Party. And we, we're the only rave that's got its own public holiday 25 years later. <laughs> Still going, yeah. Thanks to Christian and Mabe. Thank you, Mabe. And don't leave it another 25 years, you guys. I mean, obviously we'll have another one in 25 years. Uh, you're, you're definitely booked for that one. I don't want you to have dinner with your mother that night. Although I do love your mother. She's a great woman. She's the queen of Epo. Absolutely. I've actually never been to Epo. Is Epo good? Thanks, guys. Sometimes we turn around to put that thing. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Socially distanced to perfection. This has been a great episode. Uh, thanks, Mave. Thanks, Christian. And, and, and it's good that we, we, we have to close at 11 because it means we can chill out. Thanks, guys. If you're, all, if you're still listening, I can't see the chat anymore, but we will see it. Thank you so much. Definitely Andrew Craig, um, MCG. Yeah. I mean, all those guys, I think, have been here all night, really, obviously. Bass. Hit it. So this will be up on YouTube in a few days. 
so all the people who are too lazy to watch it tonight can watch it for the rest of their life. Woo! Thank you once again, guys. I'm going to sign up. El Toro will be back when DZ is back. We have a policy. DZ Studios only. Thank you, Rob. 